I hope you all got, I hope, Father God, we ask you to come in with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I hope all of you guys are doing wonderful today. All twin flame counterparts, um, divine ones in the mighty name of Jesus, the ones who God have called and chose for this journey and is using right now in this right now moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, I want to read here. It says, um, Ecclesiastics 8, 7. He writes this, since no one knows the future, who can tell someone else what is to come? Only God holds the future and only he truly knows what will happen. Isaiah 46, 10. If you desire to have peace about your future, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. The future is bright for those who knows him, who know him. Romans 8, 17. And again, guys, the darkest night produced the brightest stars. Life was throwing curveballs at life was throwing curveballs at me left and right, but then God gave me a bat and showed me how to swing. If I needed you, oh no, no, not that. Beauty is not in the face. Beauty is beauty is not in the face. Beauty is a light in the heart, guys. Okay. And as we are talking about the light, I want to uh, brush over here really quick. Um, in the Bible, John 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was God, was with God and the word was God. He was, he was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that had, has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe, all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, descent, nor of human decisions or husband's, husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among, among us. He have seen his glory, the glory of the one, one and only son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me has surpasses, surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace in place of grace already given for the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only son who is himself God and is in a and is in closest relationship with him. The father has made him known. OK, guys right there and then it states over here for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son and that's john john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him 
whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever, whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in his name, in the name, believed in the name. Okay, and then what's so ironic, guys, if you go back to Genesis uh, 1, it says the beginning, Genesis 1, in the beginning, God created and uh, the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening. And there was morning. The first day. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and and the gathered water he called seas and god saw that it was good okay right there i'm gonna stop right there guys uh, you know that's where i'm stating or whatever you know god is of light and satan is of darkness our sins is of darkness of the devil and the good things and the good th the good things and the good deeds we do are from god god plant we plant we are planted and rooted by God and it's up to us of what type of seed we're going to plant and root. Whether it's a seed of good or whether it's a seed of bad, whether it's a seed of light or whether it's a seed of darkness. So it's all up to us, guys. Okay, God, I ask you to come in right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I just ask you to come on the behalf of the divine masculine and uh but uh, give us a clear energy read on how he's feeling right now. How he's feeling right now. Uh, give us a really quick uh, energy space of the divine masculine in the mighty name of Jesus. What is taking place right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. What is taking place? I'm not trying to take you no know, whole bunch of cards. Uh, this is coming out again, guys. So I don't know. Some of these masculines is being deceitful. They're trying to steal uh, divine films, uh, spiritual uh, energy of emotional, uh, uh, emotional energy, and all of that. They love. Divine film, but they're still like, like I kept seeing the night pop out or whatever. And, uh, okay, I, guys, I just got through doing a reading and I did put, stick all these cards all throughout this. And these cards is coming out again or whatever. And, uh, overall energy i don't do reversals and i don't have and i don't know how that got in there reversed but it's uh two of swords or whatever uh she was blinded but uh, overall energy she's not blinded to what divine masculine is doing in timor okay so uh he's standing he's wanting to be an emperor or whatever uh, you know he's wanting to do better by divine film He's wanting to do better by Divine Femme. He sees her as his world. Ace of Wands or whatever. Uh, he's surrendering to this connection. Uh, then we have the Deceit card though. Uh, we have the Deceit card though. Uh, him trying to get away with something or sneaking or stealing or you know he or this could also be that he uh, wants this connection this connection is hidden from the uh, public or whatever and he's being sneaky about that he's in love with her and he's being sneaky about that she he's being sneaky about that she's his world or whatever that could be that deceitful 
or whatever. Uh, but he's feeling guilty about it. He's feeling like he lost uh, uh, the chance to be with her. And he's feeling sorrowful and guilty. Five of Cups. And Queen of Swords or whatever. Divine Film is, uh, she's standing in her sword. With her sword, Queen of Swords, she's cutting down anything that no longer serves her. Whatever mischiefs, deceitfulness, whatever Divine Masculine is doing, sneakiness. Sneakiness, she has her sword. She's cutting it down. She's not having it. So, that's what that is, guys. That's what, and she's not blindfolded to the situation anymore. So, guys, uh, that's what I have today. God bless and y'all. That's what I have today. God bless and y'all have a great night. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. I love everyone. Be sure to subscribe and um, like my videos or whatever. And if you could give any, if you could give any donations, my uh, cash app is dollar sign Charlie's Angel 75 and I would appreciate it. Thank you.